Hello everybody, it's Alana here and I have a video that I've been meaning to put out for a while But before I get started on it, I wanted to welcome everybody to my channel. Welcome. Welcome. Thank you for being here Hopefully life is going well for you and if it isn't I hope and pray Blessings on you right now starting this second on all of us Hopefully everything you know starts looking up right now. All right, so the, this is going to be my top three favorite coach bags and um yeah, let's just get started. What you're seeing right now is not one of, this didn't make it. This didn't make it into the running. This is the runner up. This is my fourth favorite coach bag, if I'm not mistaken, my favorite to use. This is the vintage scooter bag in British, British tan with brass hardware. Love the mess out of this bag. It is just incredible. I have featured this beauty in many different videos. I purchased it, uh, maybe a little over a year ago, and I have used it so, so much. I use it whenever I need a simple, easy to use crossbody, when I need my hands free, when I'm traveling, when I'm just gonna spend the day out shopping or the day out with my children and I'm not carrying a whole lot of their stuff, I use this. This is just, this is my go-to. Of all of the bags, this is the most, this could be considered my go-to more than any other bag in, in my entire collection. You know I love flat bags. If you follow me, you know I love flat bags. And then this turn lock right here is one of the, not one of, aside from just a simple snap, the turn lock I think by Coach is probably the easiest for me to get it, to use to get in and out of a bag. So this is the interior. The pocket here fits my big phone very well. Um, I love that the bag is vertical because everything can stand up. My long card cases, my little slim long wallets, my phone, which is pretty tall, everything stands up and I just grab and go. It's so easy. Very simple strap here that is de is not detachable. It is attached and can't, can't um, come off. I thought that would be a problem when I first got the bag. Turns out it works beautifully. Here it is again, gloved hand pebbled leather and it's full grain which I absolutely love. This is some of the best of Coach through their entire history. This leather right here is, in my opinion, comparable to um, some of the higher ups, honestly. Gloved hand full grain leather by Coach back in the day. Just some of the best leather ever made, in my opinion. So that's Little Scooter, runner up for uh, top three. Here is my Third favorite bag, I'm going from three to one. This is one of my favorite bags to use. Also one of my favorite easiest styles to use. Again, it's a crossbody. Again, it's a flat bag. This is the 1941 Saddle 23. It came in a couple of sizes. Uh, I think it came in three or four sizes, actually. 23 was one of the sizes. There was one smaller, one larger that was just called the 1941 Saddle Bag. And I think there might have might have been one larger than the regular. But um, this is the, the uh, size that works perfectly for me. I've owned several and I have two remaining in my collection and I um, love the style. I had this one customized. I designed this. I wanted the flowers to cascade down like that and imprints of flowers and Coach Create. I did this in Coach Create. I don't know if Coach uh, Create still does this type of creation. This was done like two or th three years ago, maybe. But um, yeah, I love it. And I again, I designed this with the help of my essay. Well, I mean, she did it, but um, I definitely told her. I gave her the idea. And I wanted these little rivets here and all that. But anyway, love the bag. It's very simple. If you haven't noticed, I love very simple designs. Here is the hang tag that was also customized. I leave it on the customized side instead of this right here. But yeah, there's a horse and carriage. Dark denim. I said that's what the color was, right? Gorgeous. There's actually a burnished detail along the edges. I love the stitching detail. This is a light blue, a pale blue. I don't know what the color would be, but it's gorgeous compared to the, I mean, it's gorgeous paired with this um, dark denim. Oh, also the piping or the glazing, the glazing, excuse me, the edge painting, edge coat, whatever you want to call it has like an ox, I think it's ox blood. It has an ox blood look, which also pairs incredibly well with this. The interior, oh, the strap is uh, detachable and it's the belt strap 
Coach is infamous for some people, but Coach is famous belt strap closure. <laughs> Here's the interior. This is the back side of all the flowers. This, these weren't here, of course, when I first. These are screws. These weren't here when um, when I first purchased the bag. But here's the interior. I believe it's marigold color, and the stitching is the same color. The interior has two areas. One is a slip pocket under the flap, which is technically not part of the actual bag. There's a gusset here. And then the interior of the bag is just this one area, and there's a slip pocket inside. This here is a strap that can actually snap right there. I think this was kind of infamous too. A lot of people did not like that from what I've heard. I don't use it. I move it out of the way. I never snap this. By the way, this here says genuine gloved hand leather. This is full grain also. Coach's 1941 collection was not all full grain, but their saddlebags, their dinkies, what else? I don't know if the robes were because it doesn't say on the Creed patch that, um, or the story patch, Creed, story patch, together, I guess, Creed patch. It doesn't stay on the story, say on the Creed or the story patch that um, it is full grain. And I don't, if it doesn't say full grain on the website or on the story patch, I don't assume that the uh, bag, I assume the bag is not full grain. But anyway, so here's the interior, the um, strap here, which is definitely adjustable. On both sides, both ends have uh, those holes, so it's very adjustable. I love the strap setup, I really do. But I, again, some people didn't. Um, here is, look, look, I have used this bag a number of times and uh, this still has the wrapping on it. I've never touched this. But this is actually, you see this? There's a, a little, this a little leather strip. It hooks, or this, the piece that's still wrapped hooks to this snap right here is for keys, I'm assuming. I guess that's a key keeper, I'm guessing. Those of you who have styles like this that actually have that leather strip with a snap, please let me know, but I think it's a key keeper. I've never used it. Um, I, I never use key keepers. I don't use pockets in a bag, nor I don't use the little features in the bags, all the little bells and whistles, I don't use them. I just use the, uh, the main, um, <laughs> <laughs> the main part of the bag and then generally I uh, with larger bags I'll use an, an organizer inside so that I don't mess up anything but yeah this doesn't look like it's been used though I have definitely taken it out I took it out before I had it customized and I've taken it out for uh, at least a handful of times since it's been customized I love it it has worn very well there's just a little wrinkling I love wrinkling I love creases. I love everything that makes the bag look like it has been used. There are veins, a little bit of veining back here. That's a characteristic of um, full grain leather. Anyway, it's just a beautiful bag. I absolutely love this bag a lot. And I don't see myself ever getting rid of this one because I just, I just love it. And I have an Oxblood um, Bordeaux combo that's pretty much, it's the same style, but it's, and it's very similar, but it's more exotic. It has the exotic strap. The python strap but um i have never used that one because of the python strap but uh yeah i love this style third favorite coach bag second favorite coach bag is the rogue the rogue style is my favorite style by coach the saddle bag was my second favorite style by coach of all time rogue is my favorite style by uh, by coach of all time um the size 31 is my second favorite that um style. Well, no, no, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. This particular Rogue is size 31 and it is my second favorite bag in my collection. My second favorite coach bag. It's Oxblood. Technically, well, not technically. It's definitely a made to order bag. And I was about to make this entire combination, this color combination and leather combination and all that. Um, I was about to make it. It was going to be my first made to order bag, uh, I believe in 2020. But I just happened to be browsing on Poshmark and saw somebody made it before me. The only difference was going to be this was supposed to be 25. When I created it, it was going to be a size 25, but it was going to have a, an oxblood body, black trim, which is the handles, clochette, hang tag, and zipper tape. The interior was going to be oxblood suede, just like it is here, and brass hardware. And um, somebody made my exact bag in 2016, because that's when this was made. So it's nice and soft. It's not slouching a whole lot because I have it stuffed, but it's just a stunning bag. The Rogue itself is, again, my favorite style of all time. And it has been ever since I discovered it. Um, in, when was it? 2018, I believe. The, the beginning of 2018 or the end of 2017, I can't remember. But um, ever since I have 
ever since I saw my first couple of rogues, fell in love, started collecting like crazy, and it's, it's still my favorite style. Here is the trim. I mean, the black, black handles. Look at this. Look at the uh, contrasting stitching. Very, very nice. I love it. Love it, love it. And then we've got these two side open compartments. You all know the Rogue, right? Zip, zips all the way down the sides. The interior is nice and large. It has two shoulder straps along with um, the two handles. And now the new Rogues have a large, very sturdy, very thick crossbody strap. The interior has um, this kiss lock detail. I have never used this, guys. I've never used it. I've owned it for years. It still has all of the um, the wrapping and stuff. This is an or uh, what's it? What is a, an insert that my one of my friends did, and I used that to stuff the bag. But um, yeah, this is just it's still brand new. I purchased it brand new, and I have not used it because I don't use size 31. Even though size 31 is my favorite rogue size, but not to use. Just um, it's the best at, uh, <clears throat> size 31 is the best when it comes to showcasing the silhouette, the rogue silhouette. 25 is my favorite size to use. However, it doesn't slouch because it's too small. Overall, it doesn't, most don't slouch. Some, I've seen some 25 slouch, but, um, I don't think they were supposed to. They're not big enough to slouch a whole lot. Um, 36 and 39 are too big, in my opinion, and slouch too much. And then everything under size 30, I mean 25, is just too small to do anything. I'm too small to slouch. But 31 has the gorgeous slouch detail. The sides pop out a little bit. It's just, it's a sexy, stunning, curvy bag, and I love it. <laughs> so 31, I've kept it around because and I have three size 31s and I've kept them around strictly because I love the size, but I do not use the, these at all. I might be letting go of this and two, my two other 31s I might because they're just this too much. It's, they're too big. Genuine gloved hand pebble leather for big old feet. Yeah, nice, nice um, sturdy leather strips down there. Beautiful bag, second favorite bag ever since I got it. It's been probably my top three yet, ever since I received this a couple of years ago. Love it, love it, love it. And then, dun da da da, or a drum roll. <laughs> I'm not gonna make a sound. Number one, number one, my favorite coach bag. Number one, and has been ever since I uh, saw it on eBay, I was alerted to the fact that it was on eBay and I rushed over and grabbed it. I don't know why anyone else didn't grab it because this is the only one we've seen in person. Like the only other bag, this uh, this exact style bag, the only other one we've seen has been um, in pictures. Anyway, this is the size 30 excuse me, this is a size 25, the size I was talking about, my favorite size to use, but this particular bag, and I have uh, four size 25s, this particular bag is my favorite because it's just so special and unique and gorgeous. Hand applied prairie rivets, if I'm not mistaken, they were hand applied, which is insane. And this is exactly the opposite of the other bag that I showed you. Had I not found this, I would have created this uh, color combination also. Black with oxblood trim. It's the exact opposite of the bag I just showed you. Oxblood interior, which probably is my favorite interior. Um, brass hardware, oxblood handle straps, overlay, clochette, and hang tag. 360, go all the way around. The bottom is all black. This was also created in 2016, if I'm not mistaken, early 2016. I just added this little T-Rose here. I snatched this from some shoes that I had, some coach shoes that I purchased a couple of years ago. But yeah, this gorgeousness, I'm not gonna go inside of it because it's the same, it's the exact same as the other one, except it doesn't have the Kiss Lock pouch. So this bag right here is very special. Like I said, it's the only one that I have seen in, in real life, I should say. Um, they did a chalk with prairie rivets also with white handles. It was chalk all over and I believe the interior was, uh, honey and, um, yeah, they have prairie rivets on that too. But, um, 
this is the only black that we have seen with the prairie rivets this was a Saks fifth avenue exclusive when coach did their 75th anniversary roll with all the whiplash and the the tassels and all that kind of stuff with the prairie rivets uh, they did size 36 for themselves they did a nordstrom exclusive which was size 31 the size that i just showed you my other oxblood bag rogue and um this one was done with sex fifth avenue and i guess not that many were done or whoever purchased them if there were a lot whoever purchased those bags loved them so much that they they have not seen the light of day because we have, as far as I know, we haven't seen them. I purchased this from eBay again, and it was brand new. I haven't used it because it's so special, and I still have the tag. I leave tags on if I don't, if I don't use them. <laughs> anyway, I absolutely love it. This is number one, again, number one favorite coach bag. My number one favorite handbag of all time that I have had, and that I, I don't foresee this changing anytime soon. So again, number one, number two, number two favorite and number three favorite coach handbag i love the mess out of these i do i might keep ox blood and just sell my other two size 31s i don't know guys i don't use this one i don't think i can sell it though i love it so anyway these are my bags love them um what are your favorite bags let me know what your top three are if you have any top three i did tell you my top one so i'm not going to do a video on that because we already know what it is take care of yourselves i hope you enjoyed this bye